All right, so as you can see, I am preparing, getting all the safety out of the way because with the high screech sound of the grinder cutting through the aluminum can get really loud and, oh man, then I won't be able to sleep at night. And the sun, because it's really sunny out and the sun's starting to scorch a little more and protecting the tattoos. My arms, I've just been getting really dark. My tattoos have been getting distorted. So protections first, safety first. Let's keep on moving. All right, so I got three. These are my main three posts. Basically what I'm gonna do is put one going this way, the other one this way, rectangular, and then this way. So that way I can fill these with those. Now what I'm gonna do is cut this one here and then down and over so that this flap is what lands and then I could rivet them or screw them onto the standing posts. Okay guys, so recap. That's going to be a park here sign. Uh, so I'm digging this rectangular, rectangular hole-ish. And here's the thing. I got to be real careful with these dudes because they are no joke. I had them going up my pants one time, both legs up to my thighs, and then bam, they decided to bite me when they got little, when they got pressured between my pants and my my legs and they are no joke they it feels like a lighter burn for like two weeks i had that sensation it was just so uncomfortable and they'll crawl up there and you wouldn't even know it so let's grab one of these and we'll start putting it in there and measuring the depth of the hole all right so i want this to be about 17 inches in the ground However, it's a little tricky because that sits a little higher than the surface of this hole. So I'm just going to go with the hole. So the hole is what holds 17 inches nice and firm. And whatever's left at the top, I don't care. As long as it provides some sort of a wind barrier. Because this strap has got to go. It's just aesthetically unpleasing to the eye as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to make a little wall here and then turn. And I don't want to make it too... Uh, close to it because I don't want snakes or animals hiding in there. Maybe I'll be able to still keep my wood stacked in there neatly for this bonfire pit. And let's do it. Okay, solution so I don't get these guys crawling up my pants is I'm just going to roll them up. But check this out. This was yesterday just from going on a hike. I don't know if it was plants or bugs, but I mean, they got me good yesterday. All right, let's check it out. So we got, there's 16. Come on, focus, man. 16, we got about a, another inch. Okay, guys, so here is my second one that now I am trying to level. Now, here's the way you can level it, guys. Obviously, I cut these really nice and square. So what I could do is take my eye and match this end to this end, right? And I go down, 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 boom. And then I eye myself to the other one, so this needs to go down. Because if I do it to the other one, I don't know if you can see it. If I level that one, here, let me try to get close to this. Right there. That tells me that this is where this one is supposed to be. So as you can see, I got about four more inches to dig before they're both leveled. All right, so we're getting really, really close. Now, the other way I could do this is I could just leave that there. I could put the top one on there and then put a, a level on top of that. Or I could put a really long one from that one to that one and kind of level it out with my eye to that because the restroom might not be completely level. So I could do it that and make it look identical to that versus using my level because my level might be level but that might not be level so then you look at it from 
from the yurt tent that's taken down right now and you might see a little wonkiness so I'd rather go to that since that's already been there and level it to that okay perfect so you see I just put that one on top right there now we're gonna come close and eyeball it from the roof to the surface of that which you can see clearly I still need to go down a little bit more on this side for it to be level to that roof all right let's do it all right well it's getting a little windy but I don't know if you could see the lines it's pretty damn close you see that how it this one aligns to the roof now let's go to the top line uh, pretty dang close guys so I'm gonna just go with that and uh, yeah okay again so I'm leveling the top you see that we're these two match it's not that much so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna micro adjust it I'm gonna put this on top and basically what that's gonna do is protect this from me hammering on it with this mallet soft but hard plastic so I'm going to tap it a few times that way it'll dig it into the ground instead of me trying to dig more all right let's see what that did Ooh, that is pretty close. I'm gonna have to bring the uh, the top one. Smack it and smack it here. Looks like that side is gonna come. All right, let's try it again. That's pretty damn close, guys. So I'm gonna put the top one and then level it out to that line. All right, so I put the top one on. It's pretty dang close, guys. Look at that, just right there. Just just a little bit here, but. I'm just going to tap it a few times and I'm not going to get picky. We're going to go with that. Okay guys, so here it is again. Uh, this is the post I just installed. There's a second and the third. And the reason I'm not doing a fourth is because most of the wind comes from the west, west, or south, or southwest. It barely comes from the north, but even if it did, all this would block it. This thing would al was almost gonna turn over on me. I saw this corner lifting up with the wind and I was like, oh no, that would be a big great mess because that's where the toilet is <laughs> so again i'm building this little wall here little air protection wind protection not air <laughs> so yeah when i first moved out here locals would tell me hey you better better tie that down and i was like what what and they you know they said yeah winds out here can hit up to 80 miles an hour and i i didn't believe them but i was like i'm not taking any chances so i ended up strapping it down and I don't like the look, but, you know, I put those metals, they're about waist high, pounded them in the ground, and then I just cut the top nice and clean. After I crushed it about this much, I cut that, I welded this on there. I gotta get rid of these tumbleweeds. Ow! Ow! Gosh dang, they're still sharp, even when they're green. Any hoots. Uh, so yeah, yeah, guys, this is, this is what I had to do. I don't like the look, like I said, but... I can definitely do it on this one and provide some sort of a wind block. So let's continue with the project. All right, guys, so I hope you can hear me. <laughs> I hope you can hear me because the wind. So basically now I'm just gonna measure from top. eighth. let's make sure that the bottom is the same, that that will indicate that I really leveled them both perfectly okay Woo! close but no cigar so one of these has to open up yep a lot of wind you get the picture 
All right, perfect time to record. No wind, so uh, we're gonna grab some water. Guys, the thing about projects too is I wanna really put out there, you gotta know when to take a break, you know, and you gotta know that if you have projects, work on them when you're the most motivated on, oh, that's not good for my tires. Uh, you wanna work on projects when you're like the most motivated to do it, otherwise, you're either not gonna do it or you're gonna force yourself to do it, which is gonna cause it to come out wrong and you're just gonna be, you know, whining, you're gonna be upset, you're gonna be uh, not so focused. So that's one thing that I really wanna uh, push on is just know when to take a break. I'm taking a break right now because it's hot and uh, feels good though with this jersey. The wind just kind of goes right through it and this helps to protect the cabeza so whew, sweaty but uh yeah guys i'm gonna take a little break and then i'm gonna go back to that and then i'm gonna start putting the horizontals across so i'm gonna measure them cut them and then i'll get back to you guys once i get the first one up so i measured also from the posts i measured the bottom and then i measured the top and they were exactly 99.5 99 and a half inches apart from the bottom and from the top, which indicates that they were both perfectly leveled in the ground. And that's what I'm talking about. You want to get it right on the dime, you know. Uh, I don't know what the wind's going to do. It might shift it later. Like I said, they're just uh, anchored in with dirt, the same dirt that I took out. I poured the dirt inside the posts uh, because they're hollow. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, and... So yeah, I'm gonna take a little break and then I'm gonna get started on the horizontals. Let's go. All right, so this is my temporary man cave until I start to, uh, you know, finish the shower and all that good stuff. And so, um, I guess I am recording details. I like to record details. Well, who am I fooling, you know? I was just gonna record it from start to finish, but Details are fun, you know, I explain to you guys how everything goes and step-by-step uh, uh, step just kind of helps you guys understand what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Woo and uh, so, yeah, I'll just re keep recording as I go and hope that it starts to come out really nice. And check this out. I bought that at uh, Hobby Lobby, which is a Christian-based store, and... One day I was staring at it and the Lord spoke to me and said, this is what I mean when I mean a land flowing with milk and honey. I was like, oh. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is what I cut out out of the outer edge of the first top horizontal one. And as you can see why, I get that, Let me zoom out a little. This is how it would fit. See that? So use those self tappers with the rubber washer. And I mean, this thing is solid. Uh, and I'm going to this side, gotta get the other side. Uh -huh. And there it is. So I gotta remove this now and get this. Next one in there. Okay, so there is the first one, as you can see. And I want to keep these on the inside just to hide them a little better. Uh, they wouldn't look bad on the outside, but... So that's what that's going to look like. So I'm going to continue cutting the rest. And I'm going to leave the bottom open again so wind can flow in, wind can flow over it. And there won't be any, like, snakes or anything trying to find a home here. All right. 